What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and in this tutorial I'm not going to show you guys the most awesome transitions that you can use to spice up your videos. I'm going to show you guys the Sam Calder transition, the video that you guys probably haven't seen yet and also some other nice transitions that you can use in your videos. So make sure to smash that like button down below and I would say let's get started with the video. What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial and in this advanced tutorial guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to create the Sam Calder zoom transition that you guys have seen in the intro, so make sure to smash the like button for this second advanced tutorial in a row, because last week I showed you guys how to create the scribble effect, if you want to see that video make sure to check out the description, there's a link to the previous video, and let's start off with this under another advanced tutorial in Vegas 14, that, that's gonna ask a little bit of time, patience, effort everything like that so I would say let's get started so as you can see we are in Vegas right now and I'm going to drag in as you can see in this folder I have three clips I'm going to drag in which is going to be the beach sunset the New York Times Square time-lapse and just another uh, New York time-lapse as you can see so I'm gonna start off with the first one I'm just gonna mute the audio for a second so basically we're gonna do this uh, video per video. So we're going to start off with the first one. So the first clip is actually pretty straightforward. We're going to use keyframes for this and I'm going to explain to you guys exactly, exactly, exactly how it's done. So it starts off with going to uh, the event and crop uh, section of the first clip as you can see. Now before we start everything, you want to make sure that everything is checked. This one, as you can see, uh, the sync cursor is checked and then the uh, size about center and the lock aspect ratio they need to both be checked well they all three need to be checked this one as well at the bottom so if the first thing what we're gonna do is as you can see right now we want to make sure that everything is checked I'm looking on my, my second monitor for a second because I wrote down everything in Word, so it's pretty straightforward so as you can see what we're gonna do the very 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 first keyframe as you can see is right here we don't need to do we, we don't need to skip anything we're gonna zoom in just a little then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the very 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 end of the clip then we're gonna go five key well five frames back so we're gonna just use arrow on our uh, keyboard to go one two three four five then what we're gonna do is we are going to press this little button that says create keyframe then what we're gonna do we're gonna go back to the very last one as you can see we're gonna go five frames uh, forward then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press right click and then we're gonna press restore now that is basically um, the first thing it's that simple so in order to have this accurately and a very smooth transition we're gonna just press left control click on all the keyframes that we have so we're gonna select all the keyframes as you can see and then we're going to right click and we're gonna make them from linear to smooth then the transition is going to be way way smoother so that is it for the first clip as you can see we're gonna close this out and this is how it looks as you can see we're zooming in just a little bit and then at the end boom it's zooming out now th that's it for the first clip then we're gonna move to the second clip I'm gonna drag that in which is going to be the beach sunset time-lapse you're gonna make sure that all the black parts are out of the video as you can see so I'm gonna trim the ends just a little bit then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them you know to the first one and we're gonna do the opposite of what we did to the first one so go back to uh, the event pan crop make sure that this one and those two are checked So I forgot to mention we're gonna go back to the first uh, clip of the track uh, The first clip then we're gonna just go to the uh, the second uh, Keyframe in the list and we're gonna press ctrl C. That's very important now We're gonna close this out go to event pan crop of the second clip and we're gonna start off the very first one And we're gonna press ctrl V so that we have the zoom from the first one so now that we have that one one pasted in then we're gonna go five keyframes forward so I'm going to uh, count it one two three four five and then I'm going to right click and press restore 
Now, as you can see, we're going to also make sure that we have all the keyframes to smooth. So we're going to right click on them. And this the first one is already smooth because I copied that one. So this is how it looks. So now that we've done that, we're going to drag in the third clip. Okay, so now that I dragged in the last clip, it is going to be a very peaceful one. I'm going to mute the audio first of all. Then we're going to do the exact same thing uh, from the first one, as you can see. So now that we're editing the second clip, what we're going to do, just like the first one, is we are going to go to the end, go one, two, three, four, five. Go five uh, frames back, press Ctrl V, the same um, keyframe, then go to the very end, press restore, and now we're gonna go edit the third clip, as you can see. So we're gonna go into the event pan crop of the third uh, clip. Then what we're gonna do is at the very, very beginning of the of the of the third clip, uh, we are just going to uh, zoom uh, just a little bit more. Then we're going to go to the very end, as you can see, go one, two, three, four, five keyframes back. Then I'm going to just click on press keyframe, as you can see right there, boom. Then we're going to go to the very back, to the very end of the third clip. We're going to press uh, right click restore. And this is how it looks. So as you can see, that looks freaking amazing. Make sure that all the keyframes are set to smooth, as you can see, smooth smooth like that so this is the end So as you can see, that is how to create the sound colder transition, guys. It is really simple. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for watching to this, uh, to this very, uh, very advanced tutorial to show you guys how to create the sound colder zoom uh, effect. So that's basically how to do it, guys. This is how you create the sound colder effect. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the for a brand new Audacity tutorial. It was on Thursday. So that is how to create the sound colder effect, and I'll see you guys in the next video. What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial, it is Wednesday, it is a brand new video, and in this tutorial guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make the walk by uh, effect, transition, how you want to call this. So, as you can see right now, we are in Sony Vegas, and I'm going to just play back the clip, and as you guys can see, this is a clip of people walking, and as you can see right now, this man right here is walking by. Now what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to create the exact same thing that you guys saw in the intro, you're going to see the clip uh, of the people walking then the man walks by and you're gonna see a, another clip uh, as he moves along it's really difficult to explain but it's pretty straightforward in Vegas to do that so I would say let's get started so as you can see right now we have uh, the clip of people walking I'm just going to uh, make it a little bit more short exactly where he where he walks and that's a, he starts around right here I'm gonna cut away this part and what we're going to do then next is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on event pan crop. Now, as you can see right now, this box pops up and I would recommend opening up this uh, to your full monitor. Uh, so it is actually pretty easy to do. So what you want to do, first of all, before we're going to do anything is we're going to click on mask and we're going to click right here at the bottom that says uh, sync cursor. So as you can see right now, we have uh, just the image of the people walking. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the timeline and we're going to go one frame forward until the man starts to appear in the screen. As you can see, there he is. Then we're, what we're going to do is we're going to cut away his entire background. So right now, uh, I would zoom in a little bit more, as you can see. Then we're going to go ahead and select the anchor creation tool and then we're going to start masking this background out of the frame as you can see right now like this what you want to keep in mind is you want to also put the mode to a negative so now so now what we're going to do is we're going to go move on to the next keyframe so now what we're going to do is we're going to move one frame forward so i'm going to just press on the arrow uh, to go one frame further then we're going to go ahead and reset mask we're going to cut away the background of this guy so we will be able to see uh, a new clip uh, behind him. So as you can see right now, uh, what you want to do is you want to put the mode to negative as you can see right now and then we see the man and as you can see the background already dissolved a little bit. So this is going to take a lot, a lot of, a lot of time. So that's, gonna, that's what we're going to do and we're going to go just one keyframe further so you guys know the idea. 
uh, put a new keyframe, go around this shirt a little bit, as you can see right here, go along his hair, and that is basically how you do it. You just want to go ahead and mask everything. You want to also put the mode to negative. And as you can see, the background already dissolved. That is what we're going to do the entire uh, video. So I'm going to just go one frame further, reset mask, and then once again, just go, you know, around his head and then around his shirt, as you can see. I'm just doing it really sloppy, but you guys know the idea. Then we're gonna go uh, down again, down his shirt, as you can see. Pretty straightforward, pretty, but it's a little bit time consuming. So I'm just gonna go back to where it was at the beginning. That is right here. As you can see, then we also put the mode to a negative, and this is how to do it. So I'm gonna do this for every keyframe uh, that's in uh, this uh, clip. It's gonna take a little bit of time, like I said, but it's pretty straightforward. You just want to keep masking this man out. Then we're gonna go around, as you can see, boom, like this, put the mode to negative. And as you can see, uh, if you play back the first few frames, the background is already dissolved. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to add uh, a background to this so once you've done the, uh, using the keyframes you're gonna just go ahead and move on to replacing the background with the other clip like you, like you guys saw in the intro two hours later all right guys so I just got done uh, you know masking everything with the keyframes if I click on the event pen crop icon as you can see there's a timeline full of keyframes and this is how it looks you know in the end so that looks really amazing. He is just walking by and it's just black showing up. Now I'm gonna show you guys also how to add in uh, the, uh, the, the new uh, background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in a new clip. I already have it in here. And we're gonna just place that one underneath uh, the masked uh, footage uh, with, uh, from the, the video track where you know I place all the keyframes. And you just want to create a new video track and place the new video under uh, the masked track. So if I play this back, this is how it looks. So as you can see, that looks really amazing, guys. So this is how to do it. That's how you actually uh, mask out this entire guy and just place a new background instead of just, you know, the, reg the regular one. And that's how to do it. If I go back to the event and crop for a second, as you can see, it, it is full of keyframes and every single frame is actually the man. Uh, if I go forward, as you can see, it is all masked out and this is how you do it. That's how to uh, create the walk by transition. So if you guys have any more suggestions I can do on Vegas tutorials that you guys are wondering how to do that, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. So that is it for this video. Thank you for the support and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for a brand new Twitch tutorial. Hopefully, if everything goes right, we'll have a new series, a Twitch tutorial, like how to set up your stream, how to stream without lag, stream in 60 FPS, you know, set up donation alerts, set up, uh, set up the follower alert, everything like that. So I hope that video will turn out tomorrow. Otherwise, I will see you guys on Friday for a brand new uh, Ultra Facts tutorial as always. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.